المحطة القادمة هي برج خليفة دبي مول The next station is برج خليفة دبي مول Hey guys, hello and welcome to Social Kandura. My name is Gaurav and in today's episodes of the UAE Explained, we look into the Dubai Metro. The Dubai Metro is a shining example of what public transportation can look like in the city of the future. Open in 2009, this provides for a world-class system and this video we're going to talk more about it and what it does and how it operates. To understand what the Dubai Metro does, let's go back in time. You see, in the late 1990s and 2000s, Dubai became the hub for a lot of center of tourism, for trade and for a lot of businesses as well. And there was an immediate need for a better public transportation system that would be more efficient, faster and more reliable. Hence, in 2009, the Dubai Metro was first inaugurated. The Dubai Road Transport Authority, also called as the RTA, then embarked on the journey on creating the Dubai Metro. Planning for the Dubai Metro started under the directive of the Dubai's ruler, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. With his ambitious plan of attracting over 15 million people traveling by the Dubai Metro in the coming years, this foundation was laid. The ruler then expected to have up almost 15 million tourists by 2010. Hence, the meticulous process of laying the Dubai Metro between the cities, lanes and highways was then undertaken. A host of architects, technological marvels, and a lot of consultants were brought in to build the Dubai Metro. And as Dubai would have it, they didn't want to build just any metro system. They wanted a state-of-the-art, driverless metro system that would be completely automated. Today, the Dubai Metro stands high and tall amongst the iconic skyline of Dubai. Not only is it a testament to Dubai's construction property, but it's also a huge help when it comes to public transportation system within the city. The Dubai Metro operates two primary lines, which is the red line and the green line, which go into the entire city and different parts of the city. Now, here's a lot of interesting facts that you might not know about the Dubai Metro. The Dubai Metro is the world's largest and longest robotic metro. Between its courses that go underground, over the ground and on ground, this entire system is operated without any human intervention. The Dubai Metro was named the world's largest driverless metro station back in 2012. How many stations does the Dubai Metro offer? You've got 55 stations that are built between the green and the red line, and each of these stations have very good connectivity by the form of taxis. The red line has 35 stations, while the green line offers about 20 stations. Being the public transportation system, there's actually a fine for a very different reason that you would expect. Of course, there's no littering on the metro, there's no eating allowed, there's no drinking allowed, but you actually get a fine for 300 dirhams if you're caught sleeping on the Dubai metro. And that's to make sure that other passengers are not inconvenienced by you. Let's talk about how much it costs to travel in the Dubai metro. The entire Dubai metro network is set up in different zones and are priced according to how many stations you cross. So zone one is about three dirhams and zone two is about five dirhams, while the zone three is 7.5 dirhams. Now, all of these zoning structures and the name of the stations are very prominently displayed across all metro stations and inside the metro station as well for you to understand better how the zooming nomenclature works. It's important to note that these prices and tariffs are as of the day of shoot, which is in April 2024. And all of these prices make sense when you have something called as the Dubai Mall card. If you do decide to take your tickets on a cash purchase, then there's a difference of about one dirham additional to what these prices would look like. There's also an option to travel in the metro in true Dubai style, which is the gold class, which is supposed to be the best class that's available for Dubai metro. It's going to make life a lot easier and less congested when you're taking the metro. The Dubai metro also offers monthly and yearly annual passes for individuals that would like to do so. The monthly Dubai metro pass is AD 350 dirhams, while the annual pass is about 2670 dirhams, which gives you access to all the metro stations for the entire year. How to get a Dubai metro null card? Now, the NOL card is an RFID chip-based card that you can access from any of the metro stations. You can buy the card for 25 dirhams. That also gets you a credit of 19 dirhams on it as you purchase the card. And this NOL card can actually be used on all public transportation system, which includes the metro, the tram, and the bus as well. Now, there's a different type of a NOL card that's given if you go for the business class. And there's also a different red paper-based NOL card if you go for a single way trip. How are the Dubai Metro station named? Now, one of the most fascinating part about the Dubai Metro is the name of the stations. 
Unlike usual stations where the name of the station as such does not particularly change, the name of Dubai Metro stations can change based on who owns it. The different companies that have bids open, which pay a huge amount to have the metro station named as per their company's name. So for example, Sharaf DG, which is one of the biggest retailers in the UAE, has their own metro station, which is called as the Sharaf DG metro station. On passive, equity, all of these metro stations are named after companies. So different brands can create these metro stations and they're all available for a bid. Now these brands pay a huge amount to get the metro stations as per name. Not only does it work as a great marketing trick for the brands, but also helps the government create more funds for the maintenance and running of what the metros look like. Does the Dubai Metro run for 24 hours? The Dubai Metro, like any public transportation system, although it is completely automated, does not run for 24 hours. It has its timings that are set for the weekdays and the weekends. However, something to do note is uh, for special occasions, for example, New Year's or different types of things or during Eid or Ramadan, the timings for these metro stations change to cater to the growing number of people that are out at different hours. A lot of people know about the iconic Dubai skyline, but very few know about the technological advancements that the Dubai Metro offers. Well, now you do. For more such tips, you can also visit us on our website, www.socialkudura.com for a detailed article of what exactly this entails. Let us know in the comments anything that we missed about the Dubai Metro and we'll be more than happy to include those in the next videos. For more such content, follow Social Kandura. See you on the next one.